So you want to find out more about how to use YouTube Studio to ultimately grow your channel with clarity and insight. I'm Jochen B and welcome to Jochen's domain of great games and guides, aiming to provide you with the knowledge and understanding to help you grow your YouTube channel. To use YouTube Studio, simply go to your own YouTube channel, click on your profile icon and select YouTube Studio. It's currently named YouTube Studio Beta, but it is being rolled out over the next few months. Once you're in YouTube Studio, I'd strongly suggest you add this landing page to your favorites to make life easier for you in the future. Now that you're in YouTube Studio, let's cover some basics. On the left, you have the context relevant navigation panel. We'll cover the channel, dashboard, videos, analytics, and comments shortly. You also have these sections which can guide you through features which are probably relevant to more established channels. And then finally, you have your settings and feedback section down here. Note that with the feedback, it's page sensitive, which means that if you're on the analytics tab and you press feedback, the YouTube Studio support team will receive the feedback highlighted that it came from the analytics tab. There's even a link to the Creator Studio Classic, but all features in there will be systematically rolled into YouTube Studio. So I'd strongly suggest you become familiar with YouTube Studio sooner rather than later. Navigation is fairly straightforward. You can click on the various tabs to be displayed with the relevant information related to that tab. When you load YouTube Studio, the navigation panel shows you relevant information for your YouTube channel as a whole. On any given navigation tab, you'll find an amplitude of context specific links you can click on. These will then drill you down into additional information to the relevant videos or statistic link you clicked on. When you click on a video relevant link, for instance, the navigation page switches context to now show you the details, comments, analytics, etc. for that specific video. You'll know it's the video relevant navigation mode when you see the video in the top left section of the YouTube Studio page. To return to the channel statistics and navigation, simply click on the back button at the top left corner. And now the navigation panel is again relevant to your YouTube channel as a whole. Now that you know the basics of navigation, let's jump into some of the key navigational sections you need to be familiar with in YouTube Studio. First, the dashboard. The YouTube Studio dashboard gives you a very clear summary of the current state of your YouTube channel. The latest upload comparison section shows you how your latest YouTube video upload is performing against all your other top performers and also all the videos as a whole for the same period since the upload. I love coming in here and seeing how the efforts I've put into my latest video affects the performance of the video and from here you can also jump directly into the specific video analytics but we'll get to that soon enough. The channel analytics section on the right shows you a complete summary of your YouTube channel in its current state and how its performance have changed over the last 28 days. Subscribers, watch time, views, revenue are all listed with the performance indicators. It also shows you your top performing videos for the last 28 days, which is a great way to get an understanding for what your viewers' interests are in your YouTube channel. The known issues section shows you any issues which might be applicable to your YouTube channel directly and also gives you a pop-out link for more information. And then the center of the YouTube Studio Dashboard page gives you the news section, which suggests informational content, which could be applicable to most creators. The Creator Insider section is my most favorite section, and it presents information directly from the YouTube Studio engineering team. You'll be able to keep up to date with all the changes and features being rolled out into YouTube Studio, and also participate in the fun guess the movie quote snippet. If you haven't yet, go over the Creator Insider and I'll link it in the description below. Subscribe and click that bell icon. Knowing your tools is one of the best wins that you can do to ensure you grow on YouTube. And then finally for the dashboard, there is the ideas for you section, which provides you with the content from the YouTube Creator Academy, giving you insight into how YouTube works, tips on creating content, growing an audience, and everything in between. Basically, it's a fountain of knowledge for any YouTube creator who is interested to know how to grow on YouTube. So if you haven't yet, go to the YouTube Creator Academy now, bookmark it, and start the courses there which you find applicable to your YouTube channel. 
Next, we have the videos tab, which, surprise, surprise, lists all the videos you've uploaded to YouTube. YouTube Studio now allows you to do quick actions for videos such as edits, shared links, promotions, etc. And you can change the visibility and monetization on the fly. And also there's a quick summary of the performance of the video. There's quick links to viewing the video on YouTube and you can also jump directly to the video comment section. And of course, if you click on the video itself, it'll take you to that video specific analytics page, which we'll get to shortly. YouTube Studio also allows you to bulk edit video settings. All you need to do is select the videos that you want to bulk edit and then click on the edit drop down to select the alteration you want to make. There's a lot of time saving features added to this page to give you a quick way of managing your videos and even changing the sort order based on views to see your top performers. Then there's the live section at the top which neatly splits your live videos from your upload videos. I'm not sure however if YouTube Studio also splits the statistics for live and uploaded videos. So if anyone from Creator Insider is watching this, could you please let us know in a Creator Insider update if the stats are split for live and uploaded videos and if so, could we have another section added to the dashboard to show you the live video performance versus your uploaded ones. Thank you! Before we get to the analytics tab, I'll quickly touch on the comments section in YouTube Studio. From here you can easily manage and reply to any and all of the comments you've received in your YouTube channel. You can see the comments, which video it was made on, and then you can do quick replies, thumbs, hearts and actions. There's also the helpful review and likely spam sections at the top, which helps you organize your comments and maintains a clean YouTube channel. The transcriptions, copyright and monetization sections we'll cover in later videos suffice to say that you can review and manage each of these sections from here. Then there's the other features section which shows you all the functionality that's not yet ported into YouTube Studio. If you select any of these it'll pop out a window to the old YouTube Studio Classic functionality for you to make use of and note that all of these functionalities will systematically be moved into the new YouTube Studio at some point. Okay, now we come to the real juicy bits of YouTube Studio. The YouTube Studio Analytics page gives you a very clear, very detailed representation of what's going on in your YouTube channel. It defaults to the last 28 days, but you can alter and customize this timeline to your heart's desire. Here you'll find some key navigational items to take note of. The See More section will take you to a full view of that particular analytical window, giving you greater data metrics and filtering options. And at any given stage, you can click on a video name, be it in a list or in a hover over or on the play icon in the graphs, to be taken to that video specific analytics page. On any of the graphs, you'll see prominent metrics for the relevant tabs along with the performance indicators which shows the changes from the previous selected time frame to the current time frame. YouTube Studio also indicates when videos were uploaded which helps you to visualize any effect that video might have had on any of the YouTube channel's performance. The overview tab shows you the views, watch time, subscribers and estimated revenue. You can also see the top videos for the selected time period and any real time activity of the last 48 hours showing you the top performing videos over the last couple of days for your channel. The Reach Viewers tab shows you the amount of impressions and the click-through rate, views and unique viewers. Impressions are the amount of times YouTube shows your thumbnails to viewers. The click-through rate is how many times someone, after seeing your thumbnail, clicked on it and started watching your videos. You can also hover over these metric blocks and be provided with a link to learn more about it, which of course I'd strongly suggest you do. Knowledge is power. Then at the bottom of the Reach Viewers page, you'll find additional blocks of information showing you a very accurate breakdown of where your viewing traffic came from, as well as the impressions funnel. YouTube Studio's impressions funnel helps you to easily identify if there's work to be done on your thumbnails. Generally, the click-through rate is between 2 and 10%. So if you're at the lower end, it means that your content is being shown to people, but they're not clicking on it. It's up to you to start researching why exactly that is. 
The Interest Viewers tab shows you metrics on watch time and average view duration. Of course, the higher the view duration, the better it is for you. So you want to find what works for you so that you can keep your audience watching your content. It then also shows you your top performing videos, playlists, cards, end screen elements, and which videos were watched from your end screen suggestions. All of this information can be useful for self analysis to retain your viewers. Then there's the build an audience tab, which shows you how many unique viewers you've had, how many times they generally watched your content, and how many subscribers you've gained. These audience figures are then broken down by age, gender, watch time from subscribers, geographical region, and whether subtitles were used or not. And then the last tab here on the YouTube Studio Analytics page is the Earn Revenue tab, which will give you some metrics on your income stream, top earning videos, ad types, and more. Using all of these metrics will give you a clear indication as to how your YouTube channel is progressing and arms you with all the information you need to self-analyze your YouTube channel as well as your individual videos, which we will be covering now. Yay, we got there. Finally, we get to the part of YouTube Studio which has video specific management metrics and analytics. Again, you'll know that you're in the video specific metric section of YouTube Studio when you see the relevant video in the top left corner. The navigation items you see on the left will now take you to those relevant pages but show you the metrics which are only applicable to this particular video. The details tab allows you to set up your video information such as the title, description, thumbnails, tags, visibility and associated playlists. For any functionality that's still in YouTube Creator Studio Classic, you'll see these pop-up link indicators which will open a new page where you can quickly take the appropriate action while not leaving YouTube Studio in the process. Under the advanced tab at the top, you'll be able to set additional information for the videos such as the recording date, licensing, categories, location, syndication, etc. All of these fields help YouTube understand and categorize what your video is about and how it may be of interest to others. So I strongly suggest you enter as much information here as possible. One particular item which is highly suggested is to ensure you have a subtitle added to your video as this could help you reach a wider audience. Be sure to save your settings by clicking the save button on the top right of the page before you head to any other sections. Next we have the analytics page which is specific to this video. The overall metrics being presented here are the same as on the YouTube Studio channel analytics page, except it's shown with an overlay of how this video has performed against the average performance of all the other videos in your channel. Another key difference is the audience retention graph, which shows you how well your video keeps your audience watching and engaged. You can click on the see more link to see both the graph and the video content itself and this allows you to determine the cause of any drops or spikes in the engagement, which you can then act upon in the following videos. The real-time activity report shows you the current activity for this particular video along with the top traffic sources. And the rest of the analytics tabs at the top, the reach viewers, interest viewers, build an audience and earned revenue, presents you with the same metrics as per the YouTube Studio channel analytics page, but it's applied a filter which now shows you the metrics only for this video. The editor is a fancy new addition, which they're constantly expanding on. You can trim video, add audio and end cards from here, plus some motion blur if need be. I imagine the YouTube video cards will be added in here in the near future as they port it across. For the comment section, you can see all the comments made on this video only and it gives you an easy way to manage them similar to the comments in the YouTube Studio channel section. Transcriptions gives you an easy platform to add additional language captions by selecting the language you want to add and performing the translation. Remember, you can use the build audience section in your YouTube Studio channel analytics page to see which countries you might want to add captions for. Monetization is where you can set the monetization preferences for this particular video and the other features will take you to sections not yet ported into YouTube Studio. 
clicking on the back button at the top of the page will take you back to YouTube Studio channel pages. If you have any questions about YouTube Studio or want to talk about your YouTube journey, come join the creators role in my Discord server linked in the descriptions below. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope that this has been beneficial for you. And if it has, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, click that bell icon, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, Facebook and Patreon for those who might want to show some added support. Also be sure to join our Discord community which is where I'm most active. Thank you for watching. Yoken out.